Hey guys, welcome back to Fatima Kids. Today I have such a beautiful video. Today I'm gonna share with you guys something very important to me. Something that somebody gave me as a gift. Not to keep forever, but I am gonna explain that right now. Okay guys. For this one I am not gonna do a prayer to Lady of Fatima because this is just a normal video of what I'm sharing. I'm not gonna make a video about virtue or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. So look at this. This here has a um a bag here, but I'm gonna show you what is in, gonna be inside. This right here is a first class relic of Saint Margaret Mary of Alacoque. Saint Margaret Mary of Alacoque is one of my favorite saints. Yes, she truly is indeed. And right there, that circle is a flesh, um, a piece of her bone. So this is St. Uh, Margaret Mary's piece of her flesh slash bone inside of there. Yes, it is a relic. It is a relic indeed. This is actually a first class relic. It's not a third class or second. This is a relic very important. So probably you're gonna ask me, how? How do I have a relic? Because it costs thousands of dollars to buy one real. Well, first of all, I didn't buy this. Somebody in the church, today I went to church in the morning. It's a normal church that I go to every morning. I went there, there's this nice lady there, and she, she just started going like maybe a month ago. She, she used to talk with my mom, and then she comes and she says, wow, God really told me to talk to you about this. And she showed the relic. And at that time, I was doing the Stations of the Cross, very devoutly, and I'm pretty sure the woman saw that. So the lady said, wow, your, your daughter makes it so good. When the, Then she showed us the first class, class relic of St. Margaret Mary of Alacoque. Now, she when she showed us this, she get, she told me, well, I'm passing it. Um, I'm gonna, I don't really do this, but I'm going to pass it to you guys. You guys can have it until Thursday and give it back to me on Thursday. So on Thursday, I'm going to give it back, but I'm, I'm going to have this till today and tomorrow. So that's how I got this first class relic. And it is not mine to keep. No, I am not making it as mine. I am not making it as mine, but it is... It's for you guys to get a better, better view. Right here it says Margaret M. Mary of Ala. They couldn't write the whole name Ala Koke, so they put Ala. And right here, it's a piece of bone, a saint of the real saint, Saint Margaret Mary of Ala Koke. You guys to see that better. It's engraved in a very, um, like let's say like a ring, a gold ring, and. Yes, there's real gold, and the flesh is in there. And I am going to move the camera so you can see way better. What is this? So as you see there, that's the flesh. So that's the piece of bone that we got. And so now that I explain how I got this beautiful thing, and yes, it's a first class relic, not third or second. So wow. Uh, Yes, this and it's about the Saint Margaret Mary of Alcoque. Now, I'm gonna explain who is Saint Margaret Mary of Alcoque. You probably have heard of her as a normal saint, or you probably heard about her about the Sacred Heart. But actually, Saint Margaret Mary of Alcoque is she's the one who presented the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Yes, I know, right? That, that is very important. I'm gonna save this right now, but I'm gonna take it out and then put it back in its bag. Because I'm gonna talk right now. And I'll put it back here in the altar. Very careful. Okay. So the lady there, she gave it to me and she said, Your daughter should sleep with it. It would be such a blessing. And I can't believe it. God blessed me with that gift. Brought right before um, I um, right before I finished the prayer, so I could see that she gave it to me, and she said that God was telling her to give it to give it to um, give it to me because actually my favorite saint is Saint Margaret Mary of Alcoque. You probably haven't known, but she is my favorite saint. I just finished reading her big book, and it's beautiful. Okay, so now who is Saint Margaret Mary of Alcoque? 
St. Margaret Mary of Alacoque is a beautiful mystic and doctrine of the church, St. Margaret Mary. St. Margaret Mary was a saint. And this has a little bit to do with the saint for the day that I did. If you guys watched the video, you would know what saint it was. But if you didn't, it's St. Francis de Sales. St. Francis de Sales was the one I did for the saint for the day. Yes, he was the saint that I did in the book. But, like I said at the end of the video, St. Francis de Sales opened a visitation center uh, um, about the nuns of charity. St. Margaret Mary of Alacoque. She, she, she was with her family, she was small, when her mother was diagnosed with a type of breast cancer. Her mother was very sick, and unfortunately she lost her mother due to that. I'm not exactly sure if it was breast cancer, but it was a type of cancer. And sadly, she lost her mother at a young age. So it was just her and her dad for a while. And she had many sisters. She had her sister Pauline, and her sister, yeah, Pauline, and then one more. And the, her sisters wanted to be nuns from the, the beginning. So her sisters be, oh wait, one thing before I get into that. Why you guys don't see the three pastors right here is because I'm drawing the thing of the relic so you guys can get a clear view. So just saying that why it's not here. Okay, like I was saying, her sister Pauline and her other older sister always wanted to become nuns, not saints, but nuns. So they entered the convent and Therese always was so attached um, no, sorry, not Therese. Um, um, I think that was the name of one of her sisters. That's why I'm getting confused. But um, St. Margaret Mary, I'm going to call her Margaret for sure. St. Margaret, she was, um, she was very attached to her sisters. She loved her sisters. She loved her sisters very much. When she thought that they were entering the convent, she wanted to go to. But she couldn't go because of her age. And she shortly then asked, I'm not going to explain the whole video, now I'm going to be here for a very, very long time. But she always wanted to enter the convent. Until one day, God sent her a vision, a vision of a man. And she didn't know who that man was. When she figured out, of, of, because of her, she didn't have a spiritual director, but she had a priest that she very confided in. When, um, after that, after she talked about it with the priest, that man was actually St. Francis de Sales. And she did, in that, that time, she wanted to enter a convent, but she did not know what convent to enter. Because, of course, there's so many convents to choose from. There's so many or congregations to choose from. It is so very hard to just decide on one that you want to be on. So, of course, that is hard. That is a difficult decision. So then when she saw, wait, and when God told her, that's St. Francis de Sales. St. Francis de Sales opened a congregation about the nuns of, this, of uh, the visitation of charity. And nuns of the charity. So that's when God boop, put the idea in her head that she, God wants her to be in the congregation of the Sisters of Charity, the Nuns of Charity, which was Saint um, Francis de Sales' uh, motto to be um, to be a person of charity, a, a, a very humility person, a very humble person, a, a poor person that wanted to be just to God. So that's why she entered there. Okay, now I'm explaining to you how she got in there. Now, second. St. Margaret Mary of Alacoque, I'm going to skip through a little bit because I'm not, I don't want to take all your time. It's going to be a long video if I do. Um, like I'm going to say, St. Um, Margaret Mary, when she got inside that convent, her big brother came with her. And her big brother told the uh, um, mother superiors there, do not give Margaret cheese. Do not give my sister Margaret cheese. Because their family was a, like a fancy family. She was born in the Church of Notre Dame in Paris, in France. So she was, um, they were fancy people and they, they did not eat cheese because of this revolting smell, they said, and because of the flavor. So they said, do not give Margaret cheese because she hates cheese. So the mother superiors, after shortly, saw that Margaret did not eat the cheese on her plate because they had to, as um, nuns of charity, they had to eat everything on the plate, not leave anything. And she never ate the cheese. So then the mother superiors, I think you need to offer that up. That can be a sacrifice you can make. And she said, no, thank you. I really hate the cheese. But then she thought about it. She thought, she thought maybe I can offer something to God. Because I'm, I'm just a normal person and I don't offer anything. So then she so hardly got the fork with the cheese. And she was so hard. It was so hard for her to do it. She, even smelling it was so hard for her that she threw the fork. She couldn't. Second or third, fourth time. She got the cheese, 
the cheeks. She closed her nose like this, and as hard as she could, she got the cheese, swallowed. Not even chewed, swallowed it whole because she could not. So then she started doing that, and then God was so happy and pleased with her. So, okay, now I'm gonna tell you about. I told you about her sacrifice and how she entered there. Now I'm gonna talk about you guys the story of how she became about the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Right here, you guys see we have a very beautiful picture about Jesus and his Sacred Heart and Mother Mary of our Sacred Heart too. But right now it's just about Jesus and the Sacred Heart of the story of Margaret Mary of Alcock. So right here is the beautiful part. Now, how that became so? How did we? How did the um, Margaret Mary of Alcock of the Sacred Heart became known? Mar uh, Margaret Mary, she had, um, Jesus told her that she, he was going to bring her a friend. A friend that, um, that was going to help her make the sacred heart of Jesus known. But that is second words because now we're going to explain how the sacred, sacred, not secret, sacred heart of Jesus became known. Okay, how it became known. The sacred heart of Jesus is a very important thing, so I'm going to try and put with details here. Margaret Mary was one time inside of her room, solitary, just in her room, nobody else. When when Jesus tell Jesus um one night tells her many many things, many many things, and then she, when when Jesus started talking to her, talking Jesus talking with Margaret Mary, she um I'm gonna take this gun out so you can see. So then Margaret Mary started starting telling the mother superior that Jesus was talking to her. Oh my gosh, the nuns and the mother superiors there thought she was crazy. She thought she was cuckoo and did not believe her, which is very sad to hear, especially because she's a very good saint. So because of that, it was so hard for them to hear about that. They thought she was crazy. And so the mother superior was so hard for her to believe it. They, they thought they were so crazy that um, um, what she was talking about was from the devil. That's what the sisters and the nuns thought. So every time she walked through the hallway, they would spray holy water at her. That's how crazy they thought she was because she thought she was possessed by the demon. So that was something very sad. But then everybody started believing her. Everybody, everything was fine. Now I'm going to tell you about the sacred heart of Jesus. Okay. One time, now that everybody started believing her because of one thing that happened, which I can't explain right here because it, it's going to take too long. So, um, how it happened. Margaret married since everybody started believing her and Jesus saw that. One day, she, she was walking down and then God told her, come down with me to the chapel. When Jesus said, when Margaret Mary was like, oh, because she saw, uh, she saw God. His chest was open and you saw his big sacred heart just like this. Just like this. This is a good way. Let me show you guys clearly. Just like this. The sacred heart of Jesus. Right here, how you see how his chest is open? That's how he showed Margaret Mary. So just like that, he showed um she he showed Margaret Mary his big open sacred heart. And when that happened, Margaret Mary was like, Oh my gosh, she was shocked, obviously, like anybody seeing Jesus' heart. And she saw Jesus' heart. I'm gonna show you three things that she um that God told her about her sacred heart. You see the crown surrounding the sacred heart. The crown surrounding the sacred heart means about the pain that he suffered on the cross with the crown of thorns. That's one of the things. The brace and the I mean the rays of light on out of his sacred heart means the purity and, um, and the love he has for her. That now the fire. Now you see some um, flames of fire on top of his sacred heart. What does that mean? That means the fire means his burning love for us. The burning love that he loves us, and the pain he felt on the cross for us because he loved us. So that's what his sacred heart of the all the stuff that are on there means. Not very good for you guys to take notes on. So, guys, um. That that's what um, his sacred heart re re resembles, but um, like I'm saying, Jesus was there and said, "Margaret Mary, do you want to hear and see my sacred heart?" And she goes, "Not yes, because obviously anybody would be scared to see that." So what he did was, "Yes, come here," and then he asked Margaret Mary, "Please lay your head on my chest." So Margaret Mary led, led, pretended it's his heart. She laid her head on his chest where his heart was. And she heard the boom, boom, boom of his heart. 
and it was something different she said that she never heard so that um so then god said you are the one who is going to show my sacred heart throughout the whole world so now margaret mary was shocked and then one thing don't get scared of this but god said margaret mary stand here he got she took don't be scared okay because there's something like very powerful he took out her margaret mary's heart seriously took out her heart from her body just like that took out his heart and margaret mary was like <gasps> because she felt the powerful that she took out his heart and god put her heart on his so then that means that margaret mary got all the graces and love from jesus the one and the only lord jesus christ she got the graces from him and then so god took back her heart and and put it back in her in, in her in her body and margaret mary felt that all that joy and that graces that god gave her and that's how the sacred heart came up so now i'm gonna i'm not gonna go into in details and everything so i'm gonna the title of this video is gonna be the take um, the relic of the sacred heart i wish you guys could see it but i'm pretty sure there are many people that live in different states that cannot but I'm only gonna have this for a short period of time, so I hope you guys um I hope you guys love this. This is um the the yes um so I'm gonna go into more details about this special rock. So have you oops. so as you see this is with um and I'm not sure it's real real gold I'm pretty sure engraved on the outside you can see that it has a little scratch marks because it's old it's saying Margaret Mary the okay. Cool so. This right here, I'm going to try and go into full details. That is a piece of her bone. Yeah, they have her name on here inside of like a gold ring and with glass on top. And glass on top of here too, to really secure it. How I have this in my eyes. Somebody really special and somebody really that is a devout Catholic that loves God with all his heart. God gives this to people. That's how much God loved how I was making more videos, like for you, for Fatima Kids. So maybe that's why God gave me this, especially my favorite saint. Okay, what a coincidence that's my second favorite saint that he gives. So then the woman said, you're the one. I feel like you're the one that needs to sleep with this in her ear room and have this. So this is something really important. And I hope you guys love this video about St. Margaret Mary of Alacoque. And I hope you guys loved and learned so much about the first class relic, the first class that I got in my home tonight. So I thank you guys so very much. I'll see you um ne next time. I'm going to do the, a very important thing for today. I'm going to explain more about Our Lady of Fatima. So thank you guys. I hope you guys join us tomorrow. Thank you. Say bye to St. Margaret Mary of Alacoque. I'm going to take a photo of this at the end so you guys will see it really closely. Thank you, guys. Bye. I hope you join us next time.